Hello everyone, welcome to my channel or welcome back. Um, haven't done one of these for a while, I wanted to do another vendor collection snapshot. So every now and then um, I go through and I pull out everything I own from a particular vendor. Um, and just a general chat about the scents that I like, the styles of wax they've got, um, you know, just generally what I, what I sort of, you know, like about the vendor and I generally go through every scent. So if that's something you'd be interested in. Um, the vendor today um, that I'm going to talk about is L3 Waxy Wonders. So I have a bunch of different forms from her. I have a whole bunch of scoops um, and then different sort of shaped and blended wax. So um, I might start with uh, the scoops and just talk a bit about those, um, what I like about them, what I don't, and then I'll go into sort of the hard shapes. So I have Geez, how many? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Close to twenty scoops. So I have quite a few. I've never finished a scoop from L3 Waxy Wonders. So um, I do. It's probably I tend to be someone who likes to have small quantities of wax um, because I like to melt variety. So sometimes I'll, you know, for example, like Palo Santo is one of my favorite scents. I like to have lots of different Palo Santos rather than a big quantity of one Palo Santo blend. Um, so I do find, I have sort of learned as I've gone that with scoops, I really need to love the blend um, for me to commit to it because they just, they take a long time for me to work through. Um, they are, they're six ounces. Um, but I find, I think based on how I sort of melt them, I'm probably going to get eight, nine, maybe even ten melts out of each one. Like I definitely use less than an ounce per warmer. So um, they're good value in that respect, I think. Um, but they do take up a lot of space. So that's my sort of the, I guess, the downside of scoopable wax. Um, and hers in particular because these are quite large jars. Um what I like about her scoops in particular, so the formula I really like, um, it's sort of, it's quite solid um, in that like if I'm touching that, it's only a slight bit of sort of greasiness that comes off it. Some scoopable formulas, you know, if you touched it, you would, you know, come away with a whole bunch of wax on your finger. So it's not soft like that at all, but it does scoop easy. So it's not so solid that, you know, if I was to use the spoon to scoop it um you know i do have to do a little bit of digging to get out what i want but it's you know texture wise it's it's that a good balance between you know firm enough to not be a hot mess but um soft enough that you can scoop it with relative ease i have snapped a, a couple of a spoon i think maybe once or twice um in scooping so there is a bit of you do have to kind of work a little bit at it um it's and it is the texture that it is when you do have it on the spoon. Um, it's not too hard to get off. So some scoops, like some scoopable waxes I've tried, um, you have to sort of really kind of use your finger or another spoon to push it off and it's quite messy. Um, hers I find I can use my finger or another spoon and scrape it all off the spoon um, and most of it comes away clean. Like I'll give the spoon that I use like a little wipe down with a paper towel, but it's not a big mess. Um, one of the things that people complain about with scoops, which actually doesn't isn't an issue for me, is the cleanup afterwards. Um, and if you are a person who likes to um, do the freezer method for your wax, so putting the tray in the freezer, letting it freeze and then popping it out, that does not work for scoops. Um, <clears throat> And that is because I guess it's just a softer texture, so it never freezes to that hard form where it would just pop out like a hard wax formula would. Um, most vendors use like either a coconut oil or some sort of vegetable oil to make um, the scoopy kind of wax form format. So um, the it, it just never gets that sort of solid um, that to that solid form frozen that you would be able to pop it out. But because I hot dump. <clears throat> I actually find her wax really easy to clean um, because it's because it is it is like it does have that kind of extra slip I suppose to it. It tips out really nicely, and then a quick wipe of the paper towel, and I find that it's all gone. So um, I actually find them quite easy to do clean up at the end. Um, so I do enjoy her scoops. Her scoops are definitely a really I, I really like the formula of her scoops. Like um, some people say that they throw stronger than regular wax. That's not been 
necessarily my experience. I do think they are they are strong, consistently strong throwers. Um, so there is that. They do throw strong, but it's not like they're all going to blast you out of the house with a tiny piece. Um, but what I find is that they last, for me, they last longer. So I tend to opt for my scoops if I know that I've got a, you know, if I might not get a chance to change my wax for a little bit longer than usual, if I need it to run like a full day and not I don't want it to die out. Um, I find that this her scoops in particular are a really good option for that because they just, you know, I've accidentally left them. This isn't something I make a habit of, but I have left them running for 24 hours before um, or I've had them on, switched them off at night, turned them on and run them the whole next day um, and they still throw really well. So that's what I really like. One of the things I really like about her scoops. So this scent, um, Patchouli Rain, Rain Newt Scamander, um, this was actually one of my customs. Um, Newt Scamander, I can't remember everything that's in it, but I know it's got uh, Rainforest Sugarcane. And this is a really amazing scent. It's beautifully fresh and a bit sweet. It's not too earthy, even though it's got that patchouli rain in there. Um, like that does add a little bit of that sort of freshness to it, but it's not, you know, super patchouli or anything like that. So this is a real favorite of mine. Um, other scoops that I have, so one that I actually melted just this week, brand new. So I've got her strawberry pound cake. Um, look, this one doesn't smell that great to me on cold. It almost smells like strawberry yogurt or something. You know, that slight sour kind of smell, but warmed up, it was quite nice. <clears throat> uh, this one I haven't tried yet. So blackberry magnolia. So blackberries, apple, magnolia, melon, and a hint of sugar. I'm seeing this one pop up at a, this oil popping up at a few vendors. I think it's going to be quite a popular one for sort of the northern spring summer um, summer season. I can't believe I forgot that word. And it is. It's a really nice um, fruity floral kind of scent. Like it's a very very pretty scent. Uh, da -da -da. So one of my favorites, one of the one, probably the scent that got me hooked on Palo Santo. So Palo Santo, patchouli, black amber, and vanilla sandalwood. It just it smells like an amazing wood scent. It's just beautifully woodsy, um, like sandal woodsy, but with all of this extra. I don't know. I find it hard to describe. Like I kind of in my head, I picture like working, walking into some like a a woodworking shop where you know with. Um, a little bit of kind of sandalwood incense or something going like it's really beautiful so um, this was somebody else's custom actually they did it as uh, chunks and I got one of the extras like when she does them for art ready to ship um, and I really really enjoyed it so I got it blended up in a um, in scoop to have more of that one uh, another one I haven't tried yet but that's very pretty so veranda fern that's grass citrus honeydew melon aloe moss wet earth coconut leaves and cop co copper tone so that's just a beautiful aquatic slightly melony scent i'm really looking forward to try giving that a go um i've got one i've used a bit of now palo santo leaves and mellow fireside so i do enjoy this one i prefer that um that other palo santo one but it's this has got that nice leaf sweetness without sometimes leaves takes a very a slightly sour Tin, tinge to me and that doesn't have that um drums of autumn so fallen leaves uh flaky pie crust and bakery bomb i'm contemplating passing this on to someone who might love it more it's um it kind of leans savory bakery and i'm not the biggest fan of bakery with leaves i've learned so this one's okay it's not a favorite of mine so i may uh, de-stash that one this uh so lavender lemonade soda this is a really good lavender like a lot of vendors do lavender and lemonade soda um or lemonade or whatever combos like that this one is probably the best one i've tried just in terms of the you know how nice it smells like it's nothing special they all kind of smell the same but it is a really appealing scent and it is very strong so i really enjoy that that's like a kind of a staple one for me I haven't melted it for a while though i should probably give it another go um i'm about a third of the way through that this one i really need to get a covering there's two with really broken lids and i really need to put some glad wrap on them to preserve them they're doing okay but you know they won't forever so brandied pear mallow fireside and zucchini bread i melted this just last week and it smells so good 
Her zucchini bread is really nice. That brandied pear just adds that beautiful sweetness and the mellow fire side just, you know, stops it from, you know, it's really, really good. One of my absolute favourites. Um, I sort of forgot it was in my collection and then when I went digging for some bakery last week, I was like, oh, wow, I forgot about that one. Uh, another really good one, zucchini bread, caramel, apple and cinnamon sugar. I picked up quite a few zucchini breads off her... Uh, last year sometime I really need to label these because I can't remember I think that was sort of from most I, I did a big scoop order maybe in September October last year whenever she did scoop customs in the back end of last year I picked up a bunch off the back of that so most of these are actually other people's customs but this one's beautiful. The apple's not overpowering. It's not too caramel. It's not too cinnamon. It's just a really nice um, apple bakery. It's beautiful. Uh, I've got Elvira. So black amber, vanilla, sugar, and a hint of leather. This one's very leather. A hint of sugar does not capture how... A hint of leather, sorry. It's more than a hint of leather. So I do enjoy it, but I definitely have to be in the mood for leather because to me... It, look, cold or like it is leather warmed up it definitely has that amber and the sweetness but it's still quite a leather heavy blend so you have to be um i like i like her leather in particular but yeah you definitely have to be in the in the mood for it another palo santo so palo santo don't cross streams and bourbon so a very sweet that the bourbon is kind of subtle i can't remember the exact notes of don't cross streams but it is definitely a very sweet take on a Palo Santo. I, I remember on cold, it's not, I'm not loving it, but I do remember enjoying that melted. So, um, this one I've kind of, it's the one I've used most, um, but that's more because I'm actually sort of trying to use it up because I like it, but I don't love it. So Ginger Satsuma uh, Lemonade. I feel like it's more uh, lemonade than ginger ale. I feel like a bit more, it could have been stronger on the ginger ale. So it's not bad. And the lid is also quite broken, so I need to seal that one up. But, yeah, I've sort of just been pulling it out every couple of weeks and melting a bit more because I'd like, I'd really like to finish a scoop. I feel like I would have, I feel like it would be an achievement. Um, but I just, yeah, so this is probably going to be the one that goes first, but more because I just, I won't miss it when it's gone. It's nice, but I won't miss it when it's gone. Um, a few more scoops. So I've got uh, zucchini bread, spicy apple peaches, and whipped cream. Surprised I haven't reached back in for this one because it was very nice. I remember. I think I've only melted it twice. <sighs> yeah, that apple peach scent. It's like an apple peach pie with zucchini bread. It's very nice. The zucchini bread's not super strong. Like to me, it's more that apple peach, but it kind of gives like a sort of pie vibe. So. Without the pie crust, I guess. Um, season of the Witch. So this one is uh, leaves and mac apple or apple, I think. So I do really enjoy this one. A lot of other leaves and apple blends to me from other vendors tend to smell like this one. But this one I find is, you know, probably the best throw and... It is actually, like, it's not too over... It is very apple, but it's not overpoweringly apple. Like, that leaf scent is there. So I actually, I do actually really like that one. Um, it's probably the best leaves and apple scent I've tried. So I might give that one a melt soon. The last two scoops I have, I've kind of been holding on to. Um, and the reason for that is because I bought them to combine. And actually, I can sort of tell the story on these by showing a different melt. So one of the very first melts I ever got from L3 Waxy Wonders, which made me fall in love, was this combo. This is a Matrix melt. So of uh, Oregon Autumn, which is that one, and King of the North, which is that one. So crisp, clean, fallen leaves with a hint of rain. That's the Oregon Autumn. Uh, and then the King of the North is Rainstorm, Black Pepper, Bergamot, and Sexy Pheromones. This blend is amazing. And actually, now I'm looking at it, I probably should pull it to melt again next week because it is my all-time favourite rainy, outdoorsy scent. I just, I cannot get enough. It's got the slight pepperiness, that real crisp outdoorsiness, but without, without any of the bitterness that the leaves sometimes can get. 
And pheromones is one of my favorite cologne type scents. So I remember this is one of the first like US vendor waxes that I absolutely fell in love with. And it's it's a matrix melt and she hasn't done it again since. So I got these two so that when I finish this, I will be able to, you know, hopefully blend something that's quite similar to this on my own or use them separately. So Oregon Autumn, I actually have also got, you can tell it's a favourite, because um, I've got it in a bunt. And Oregon Autumn is an amazing scent on its own as well. So that's the crisp, clean fallen leaves and a hint of rain. And I really love, it's just, it's different to other vendors' fallen leaves. And it's not, yeah, it, there's... There's just, it's that crisp, clean aspect of it is really, really present. Like it's, you know, there's obviously with fallen leaves, like it just, it kind of, like if I think of Oregon or places in Australia, like not that I've been to Oregon, but, you know, I know of places in Australia, like my state um, apparently has a similar kind of, in some ways has some similar um, kind of, like the climate and the trees and stuff can be similar in some ways to sort of areas like this. And it really does remind me of being out in the bush here um, in Victoria, Australia with like when it's been raining. Um, there's other areas of Australia you don't get that scent because they tend to lean more to the eucalyptus and things like that. But, um, you know, there's areas that really do kind of give me this vibe. So I really love Oregon Autumn on its own. So that's my sort of... Um, you know, stash for melting it solo. This is what I'll do. Got to continue working through um, in terms of the combo. Um, but, you know, I can also do them. I haven't melted King of the North on its own yet, but I reckon it would be really good too. It's a really nice peppery cologne um, scent. So those two are absolute loves of mine. And if she ever does the Matrix Melts again, I'll get in those scents. Um, I'll get those too. Um, I don't think it's something... I'd have to ask if she'd do it as a custom, um, only because this is uh, two house blends. Um, and I'm not sure... Generally speaking, she only does like one house blend and one oil. Um, but because she has done it as a combo before, she might do it again. So I'd have to ask, but technically combining those two is probably against her rules, which is why I've got the two scoops. Okay. So the rest of what I've got is all, uh, I've got one scoop, uh, sample as well. So Lush Twilight Soda Pop. So I guess similar to the Lavender Lemonade Soda. I haven't actually compared these two. So this one's definitely got that lemon. Um, they're both nice, but they are different. So a couple of custom doggy bags I've got. So TikTok the Croc Mirage. Um, I've pulled this one on my channel many times because I wanted to kind of work through it through the warmer months. It's like um, salty sea air, tropical, tropical something. And then it's got like some grapefruit and stuff. It's it's just a very nice, it's not super salty. Um, I really need to replace these bags. They're pretty beaten up. Um, it's just a very nice, not super salty kind of, you know, fresh, uh, you know, nautical kind of. It's sort of, it does remind me of like a tropical island, but not of that really kind of fruity variety, if that makes sense. This one also, the bag needs to be replaced. So um, books in Gryffindor. I mean, it's still intact, but yeah, it's pretty beaten up. So this one is more of like a mahogany, cozy kind of scent. So this one I actually probably start, should start throwing into my melt boxes for uh, as we get as the weather starts to cool down. Because yeah, it's just a very nice, warm, cozy, woodsy kind of, like kind of library woodsy vibe. Um, so those, they were my first customs. And look, they were pretty good. Um, I don't think I would repeat them, but they were nice. Uh, other melts that I've got, so a couple of samples. My samples, I tend to melt them um, when I get them, so they don't tend to last very long. But I've got a sample of Bowties and Bourbon. I do like these shapes, which is, you know, very kind of manly cologne sort of scent. Um, I've still got this. This I might actually include in a deep stash for someone. Pink sugar, mac apple and pretzel. I've realised I don't like pretzel scents. I just...
I mean, this one's not, maybe this one will be okay. Because I'm getting the mac apple and I think the pig sugar is kind of toning down the pretzel. But yeah, pretzel is a scent I generally speaking don't enjoy. But that on cold, I'm not actually picking up much pretzel from. Uh, oh, and another sample. So this one's very small. Amber white. I'm not sure. I just don't get much of this at all. I assume it's like a kind of laundry, maybe white clouds or something. But yeah. Um... So then I've got some bunts and some other shapes and things like that. So the other Matrix melt I have is uh, Horcrux and the Birdcage. So Central Amber, Whipped Vanilla, Patchouli, Pink Orchid, Coconut Milk, Pink Sands, Mahogany, and Teakwood. I really do like her solid wax is, like, her scoop wax is good, but her solid wax is really nice too. Like, it's it's non-fuss. Non it's, um you know, it's just, it. You know, it cuts easy, it breaks easy, it's not too hard, it's not too soft. Like, it's definitely not a sticky kind of wax. It's the firmer type. It always throws well. Like, it's just consistent and it's really good value. Um, so, if I look at, like, a pack of, like, you know, a full pack, um, something like this. So, this was, like, $4, I think, this pack. Um, I will easily get eight melts out of that. Uh, four per bunt so it's really good value in that respect I think in that you don't need to use a lot to get um, decent throw and I'll like one of these tiles they're quite thin will also be fine um, this scent is look it's got a lot going on but it's just a really nice kind of cozy cozy slightly woodsy scent I think I do enjoy it like I don't think I'd get it again but it is nice um that one so i'll talk about this one next thing as i picked it um so cherry paler santo and pie crust so i haven't melted this yet i'm a bit nervous about it because i don't know if i like that cherry it's a super it smells like dr pepper like all i get off this i'm not picking up paler santo i'm not picking up pie crust i'm getting dr pepper so i'm hoping warmed up that that kind of that those scents play up a bit more and they mellow it paler santo i do find is one that I don't detect a lot on cold sniff, but it does really come out when you warm things up. So I'm hoping that kind of mellows the cherry because the cherry is definitely that sort of Dr. Pepper cherry, which I don't hate, but I don't love. A few other bits and pieces. So I've got um, one more bunt cake of Calacus, Margarita and Fizzy Pop. I do really like as well because she does customs, you know, several times throughout the year. I like that she pours extra. Because I just, just it's nice to be able to, I, so I like that you can request, so she does requests as well as customs, right? So, you know, you get multiple opportunities throughout the year to pick up scents that you like or combos that you've had before or things that you like. But because she also does the customer combinations, puts them up, you know, some of them are really good. So, and they give, they're good for giving me ideas for things that I would like in the future. Like, you know, I've that scoop, the um, Palo Santo and Sandalwood and um, Black Amber and that, that one was someone else's custom. I wouldn't have thought to put that together. So um, I really appreciate that. So this would have been someone's custom. And it is a nice scent. Like it's not anything, I wouldn't get it again, but it is a nice uplifting, very Calacus heavy, um, but it's definitely got that sort of fizzy touch to it as well. Um, other ones, so I've got a few pieces left of this one. So Cancer Man, Mayor of Halloween Town. Um, this one's not bad. It's got two different Lord of Misrule blends in it. But I actually find I don't get much Lord of Misrule off it. It's just kind of a smooth peppery scent. So that's not bad. I wouldn't repeat it. Um, I've got... This bunt, which is a very, really nice scent, actually. Earl Grey, Vanilla Patchouli, and White Tea. Yeah, that's... I didn't love it the first time I melted it because it's not like a slap you in the face. This is a tea scent, but it is just a really nice, smooth... That Vanilla Patchouli really kind of smooths it out. Um, so, yeah, I don't tend to reach for it when I want tea scents. I tend to go for... I've got black tea ones or I've got other Earl Greys that are more like, you know, give more of that kind of bergamot and stuff. But it's still a really nice kind of calming scent, cozy scent. I've got cream soda, watermelon, lemonade and fizzy pop. So another one kind of in the same category as 
that Calacas one. I do like her fizzy pop scents. This is a really nice one in summer, so I'll probably hold on to this last bunch until the weather warms up again. Um, because yeah, it's just really fresh and refreshing and a little bit got that sort of creamy soda vibe, so it's um quite nice. Definitely that that one and the Calacas one, I think as soon as the weather starts to warm up again here, I'll probably push through what I've got left. Uh, not too many bits. So this one was from a chunk. So when she did chunk customs last year, which I really liked actually because um, smaller quantities. This one's not bad. I, I didn't like it as much as I thought I would. Um, it definitely is kind of that salty mango sort of scent. Like it's more salty than other. I've had other vendors sort of try to do mango and salt scents and this one's actually got that saltiness to it. I didn't mind it, but not something I would custom again. Uh, and then these kind of scream blocks. So this is Morticia, which is Black Roses Oud and Bergamot Joe Malone type. I love Black Roses Oud. Um, I hadn't tried the Bergamot Joe Malone type before, and I do find it overwhelms a little bit. I thought the Black Rose Oud would come out a little bit more. That said, it is a really nice scent. I find that Bergamot Joe Malone type is a bit kind of more herbal than I was expecting. Um, I enjoy it, but yeah, I would have liked the Black Rose and Oud to come out a bit more. Uh, Wicked, which is Rainstorm White Tea and Ginger. So I've Rainstorm is in King of the North, and I really like her Rainstorm scent. And it is a, it is a really nice, fresh, refreshing you know, it's not heavy on the white tea and ginger, but it's definitely there. So that is a nice scent. They were from Halloween, I think. I need to get more consistent with lab putting date labels on my wax. Uh, and then the last scent, which is one I love, uh, Colt. So smoke, steel, and pheromones. That pheromone fragrance oil, I love. It's my favorite manly cologne because it's, I think it's got grapefruit. It's like a... It's definitely a cologne scent, but it's kind of uplifting. And the the smoke and the steel is very light here. So this is just like a very nice manly scent. I really do enjoy that one. Um, so that's it. That is my whole L3 Waxy Wonders collection. All of my scoops, all of my customs, and all of the hard wax. Um, I do have some more on the way. I've got a couple, of, a couple more doggy bags. One of Ginger Ale, Island Heat and mango uh, star no so star fruit ginger ale island heat so that was uh, someone else's custom that again I, re I got it in a bunch and i repeated it in the doggy bags because it is probably my all-time favorite ginger scent it's an amazing blend um i also have i think like an earl gray uh one of her house blends and then i recently did um picked up some stuff in her last ready to ship as well so i think i got some stuff like can't remember anyway there was some really good stuff it was a massive sale i got some really good stuff um so that will i haven't shipped it from my forwarder so I, I have no idea when that will get here but that's the uh l3 that i've got on the way um because yeah as i mentioned Wax is really great value it performs really really strongly um yeah it's just just an all-round really good vendor so uh as always thank you so much for watching my video um and i'll talk to you again soon bye